am Simone. Today we're going to be trying ice cream from Bula Marie Street Ice Creamery. A little bit of background on the company. Bula is an Australian company and they've been making dairy products since 1910 and making ice cream since 1929. So these ice creams are made with fresh cow's milk from Australia as well as free-range egg yolks. They are also crafted with a traditional production process that's been inherited over six generations to ensure smooth texture and rich flavour. These ice cream flavours are rich and unique and they come with generous servings of premium chunky ingredients. So we're going to start by tasting the vanilla bean ice cream. One look and you can tell that there, there are a lot of vanilla pots here which is an indication of premium ice cream because it's an expensive ingredient and it's a evenly spread out amount of chocolate coated almonds and it's really creamy which is really nice you want that creaminess without being too milky it's the kind of ice cream that you can just keep eating and eating and without and before you know it you finish the whole top Almonds are quite crunchy still and the chocolates are not overly sweet. Nice. Next, we're going to try the ma caramel maple and macadamians. Okay, so this is made up of caramel ice cream with maple ripple as well as macadamia nuts. Okay, let's dig in. Some of the ripple here. Okay, to be honest, I've never really been a caramel ice cream fan because I've Maybe the ones that I've tried were always very sweet, like cotton candy sweet. But this one has a really interesting burnt caramel flavour, which is very nice and very appetising, and it's not overly sweet. And the maple drizzle, or maple ribble, it adds a nice uh, addition of flavour to the whole ice creams. The whole combination is just really, really good. Okay, so now we're gonna try the caramelized peanut brittle. As you can tell, it's a mix of two ice creams here, not um, a rather a swirl of different two ice creams. One is the chocolate and one is the caramel. And then you have the peanuts. Let's see, peanut ripple here. Okay. So even though this has caramel ice cream and this has caramel ice cream, the flavour is actually quite different in a good way. There is a smokiness to this overall ice cream flavour, which is quite unique actually. And of course, it's caramelised peanut brittle, so the peanuts are coated with caramel. It's not overly sweet, but it's just a touch of sweetness, which is, which is, which is just enough. This is really. just really an explosion of flavours in your mouth. Really, really. But well, don't just hear it from me, let's hear it from our mini reviewers too. Today, my mommy is letting me try Mula ice cream. And right now, I'm trying the Mula ice cream. How is it? We dummy! We super duper 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 yummy. So which is your most favourite? Is it the first one? Yes. Is that the vanilla one? The vanilla ice cream on which the roots and all white white things. Which flavour should I try first? They're both very good, but blue is my favourite colour. I guess blue is what I'm going for. Wow, that looks so good. It's amazing. I'm going to try it. <clears throat> oh my god, that's so nice. I like how this has multiple flavours. We got vanilla and then we got some chocolate almonds. And especially because, you know, sometimes you want to get multiple flavours. But this one already is just one single ice cream. It's just so good. Next one, I'm going to try a second flavour. Now, this one is a little different because of how many flavours there is. Oh, 
Oh my god. It looks so good. I can't wait to try this. Now, I'm going to actually go try a bit of the chocolate at the same time with a bit of the vanilla. To see why would they put so many flavors in. Mm. It tastes so good. It tastes like they just put the perfect flavors together. And how did they know? Oh my gosh. So good. That seems so good. Okay, eating ice cream is great and all, but I just want to show you a way you can elevate your ice cream experience at home using this very simple... I want to call it a recipe, but it's not really a recipe. It's like an assembly session, okay? So basically, you just need um, a loaf. Or not a loaf. You need like a pound cake. Um, any brand, it doesn't really matter. Okay. What you need to do is to cut it into three slices. So let me just show you. Okay. So yeah, three slices. Okay, so after you're done cut, uh, getting the three slices as even and in thickness as you can, okay, you will put the strawberries inside. You can just add any ingredients. We're trying to make an ice cream cake. Okay, you can just put, uh, I'm just gonna put strawberries. For this recipe, I'm using the vanilla bean and chocolate almonds. So the strawberry will be a nice touch with the slight citrus taste and the natural sweetness. Okay, so I just put sufficient strawberries. If you want to put more, of course, feel free, but don't make it too high because you've got so many layers to go through. So after that, okay, you want to put the ice cream in. Um, about three. Okay, you want your ice cream to be slightly soft not too soft. You want to smooth them out so that they sort of cover it. You know, like the cream in your cakes. Instead of cream, we have ice cream. So something like this. Okay? So next, you just layer it on, the middle layer. gonna clean wrap this, uh, clean wrap this thing. Uh, you can also use the aluminum foil. It's fine, and put it in the freezer for at least two hours. Okay, so it's been uh, four hours. It's just gonna unwrap this that I've wrapped in clean wrap. Next thing you do is what? Plate it. There we go. You can just cover it with a chocolate ganache or something as simple as icing sugar. So I've made this chocolate ganache yesterday. It's just good. Ta da! There you have it! An easy recipe you can do at home with ice cream. Flavours are really tasty and it's just full of ingredients and very rich and yummy and creamy. But just don't just take it from us. Go out there and try it for yourself and let us know what you think in the comments below. And thanks for watching!